I'd like to call up uh, Mark Gearhard. He's the, the CTO and CEO of RuneScape. Um, come on up, Mark. So, 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 on, so on Tuesday, you, you gave us you know, sort of a run through of RuneScape, the game. Yeah. But you guys do more than the game in Java, right? Yeah, this is the bit that gets me really excited, actually. Yeah, yeah. So, 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 so you couldn't actually bring a demo because you'd actually have to bring your whole office because it's all tied into your network and the rest of it. But you brought a video. Yeah, it, it's a complete infrastructure, software, tools, the works. Uh, I've got a video of some of our tools, so uh, modelers, mesh editors, animators, uh, obviously all created in Java. Yeah, kind of uh, Maya-esque, uh, Max-esque, but uh, doing exactly what we needed to do. So that's on steroids, uh, going really fast, but uh, kind of just shows you how we, you know, quickly we can actually model up uh, tools. Right. So, so you 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 basically built your own Maya, Lightwave, whatever. Absolutely, and kind of you know if. if Maya bring out inverse kinematics, we build in inverse kinematics. So we make sure we maintain feature parity with pretty much any ent professional enterprise product that's out there. Right, so you can, you can import like Lightwave skinned models with, with, with Skeletons. Absolutely, and we can and export just... to the same formats, yeah. vice versa. I mean, we actually use our own proprietary graphics format anyway to make sure it's incredibly efficient. It's all, incredibly it's all tuned and tightened, because you guys care about you know, every last vertex, every last, because you, you have to make very, very small Every polygon polygons. matters to us. And, yeah. and you know, we, we, we spend months carefully crafting every bit of software to make sure it's, you know, uber efficient. That's right. just our so passion. Got, like, like specialized algorithms for polygon That's reduction. Spot on. Um, Procedural yeah. texturing. Uh, you've probably flown past that already. Uh, again, to make sure we can actually do, but, but basically the entire RuneScape game in about 64 right. memory heap and about 45 meg total size. Right, right. So, 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 so this, the, this is a video of somebody like building a character. Yeah. And then, and then um, dropping it into, a, in, into RuneScape is pretty easy. Absolutely. So because it, it all ties together so well, um, we're busy animating this water troll here. And in a moment, we'll drop it into game, bring up our mesh editor, knock up some scenery, copy and paste some assets, and it goes straight into real game. And we can, compiled it to game. And we can actually right. see, well, how does that look? With everything else, right? So you you actually manage. I mean, it's not just the modeler; it's the whole thing, the complete right? process. Right. So 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 you, so you've got the process, you've got the background scenes, and all the all the scene all the scene engines. So why don't you just describe yeah. a lot of that? So yeah, I mean, it, it, as, as you just said, it's the entire process um, of, of development. Uh, our content creator has the idea, does the story writing, pretty much everything from this, our scripting engine through to the actual tools is created in Java. So. Here we're busy doing a quick animation, um, just checking it out. We will then compile that or pack that into a test world. That is our entire game source that gets built there, so we can actually see how this impacts any other asset or you know light shaders. Uh, unlike other tools, we actually have to operate everything in isolation and kind of pass it over to the next team. We pass right. it to the next team. We try to write our tools really easily, so you know a content creator is also a producer. He sits with all our tools and kind of pulls all the stuff together. Right. Um, so that's, I mean, that's one of the challenges of doing a demo here, right, is because you aren't a bunch of, bunch of stovepipe tools that you kind of cobble together joints on. You, you, you really integrate the whole production flow. Absolutely. We want a set of tools which is fully integrated for the developer, um, which is very easy to use, which is crucial. Right. Um, and yeah, you know, that's just kind of taking you through a quick pack process. Throwing that into the game now. Yeah. So this is th that is creating a a package and building some scenery. Boy, I wish I could build scenery that fast. <laughs> yeah. This has been sped up quite a bit, but uh, I mean, basically, what we're looking at here was probably created in about 30 minutes, soup to nuts. All of this. I think yeah. it's been sped up probably about three times. Um, and at any one point, you know, we can actually we can have the game in hardware mode, software mode, uh, so they can actually check how everything looks. Uh, right. So when so when you want to add a new level, a new, you know, because you've got this the sort of free level and the paid level, yeah. And the way you keep the paid level folks interested, we keep creating is, more content. Is, you, is 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 it's kind of like 
the planet with infinite surface area. Spot on. Right. You can, you know, it's it's kind of like 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 Ring World, where you can sort of start adding 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 to it. Absolutely. Right. And you'll never ever ever run out of real estate. Spot on. So so the free game is like North America. I'd probably equate it to that, and the, the member game, if you will, members expansion is like the rest of the world. Right. But it, it's not spherical. It can just keep growing and growing. It can growing. just keep going. Absolutely. Yeah. So so you you also do like. You know the in-game servers. So, how, so how did you? you, you yeah. You're telling me about this the, this chat room thing that you guys have. That's 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 a tiny little tiny little box. Oh yeah. So I mean, you know, we operate the world's probably second biggest forum, 2.8 million posts a week, um, and that forum again, kind of a its own Java web server, enterprise web server, um, runs on a little Celeron 2.4 with uh, two gig of RAM. It's probably about five years old. Yeah. Two ID hard drives, a ridiculous spec, but uh, you know it's stable. It hasn't been rebooted for years, the way we it like it. Hasn't been rebooted yeah. for years. It's incredible. It's incredible. It doesn't have a firewall sitting in front of it. You know, this gets the full brunt of everything the public's got to offer it. Yeah. So you use all the all the security features and all the rest of that to make sure make it so that you know your game universe is is a safe place to play. Absolutely. Absolutely. And yeah, but, you know, even our our game worlds. Bear in mind, the entire RuneScape game is actually server-based. You know, right. We're only streaming you assets on demand. Right. Uh, obviously, that allows us to update the content very easily. And, right. uh, and, that's, and that, of stable. course, is one of the reasons you had to build your own tool chain, Sorry. because the tool chain needs to be able to understand how to package things for streaming. Absolutely right. That's absolutely right. So you know, you've got to bear in mind, it will, you know, we were talking on Tuesday about 10 million active players in any month period. You know, that's hundreds of thousands of simultaneous connections, everything being done server-side. And all of this is probably done on about 20 commodity servers. Right. 20 servers, 10 million people. Something like that. That's a pretty good number. Um, you know, a lot, of the, a lot of the server systems that, 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 that people talk about, they get, you know, I mean, you, oh, I'm not going to name names, but you, you hear about, about people just eating huge numbers of servers yeah. for what turn out to be mostly silly reasons. You get by on, on a remarkably small number of servers and a remarkably small IT, IT staff. Yeah, uh, just uh, you know, attention to detail, a, a passion for for doing everything well from the games yeah. through our own tools. Yeah. And my support team, my entire support team for my public infrastructure, internal infrastructure, is three guys. So a three-person IT staff. That's it. But that it's stable. For, it's secure. For 165 million accounts, 10 million active in a. 175 now, yeah. 175. <laughs> Yeah, how many people can say that that their ratio the ratio is three to 175 million? Yeah, um, plus 400 guys back in the office. Yeah, who are actually <laughs> building the content, right? Absolutely I mean, right. that's that's kind of the key to making this really cool, right? Is that you guys can spend your energy on building the content, thinking about you know what kind of situations can we set up in the world yeah. that will be fun, right? That, that's what right. you want to spend your That's where we want to spend our time, spot on. Yeah. We, we don't want to be maintaining infrastructure. Or, I mean, right. we have to maintain infrastructure, but uh, we'd far rather divert our energy and uh, brain power to that. So which version of the JDK do you guys run on? Uh, interesting to, interesting <laughs> question. <laughs> That one's a secret, isn't it? That, that, that's a secret. <laughs> well, on the machine that hasn't been it hasn't been rebooted in three years, I'm sure. Uh, you could probably work that one out yourself. Can, that, that one's just math, right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, so, you know, most of our obviously uh, libraries, our entire framework has actually been built in house. Uh, right. We actually run two different languages in house on top. Right. But again, all of that is kind of on top of Java, if you will. Right. So you know, it's, it makes it a lot easier for our developers to work. Makes us a lot more agile. Right. Um, but no, kind of the, the underground, right. the machine underneath. Yeah. Right, you guys, you guys go to like outlandish lengths you were describing to me the other day to make sure that the game itself runs on unspeakably ancient hardware. Absolutely right. Uh, yeah, kind of we, we want to make sure that as a browser-based game, this is accessible globally. Uh, so yeah, I think it's a P3 500 with 1 yeah. to 8 meg RAM is our minimum spec. Yeah. But uh, we maintain compatibility back with Java yeah. 1.1. And, uh, you, and you just have the, the sort of quality of experience kind of scales up with that. Indeed. Yeah. And so, so on, on Tuesday, we had the, the, the guys from LG had a, had a television. Yeah, it's the, 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 telev the TV's controller was this du dual core MIPS machine with OpenGL ES. And we'd put RuneScape on that, no problem. Yeah, I know. You, you kind of looked at me and said, <laughs> we can run on that. I think I actually bet my salary that it would work. But yeah, yeah. yeah. And, you